Hey everybody, it's Chris Jewett here. I just finished my production of Big Beaver and I wanted to walk through some of the basics of this airplane with you. First off, it's set up very similarly to the small beaver. We decided to use full span flaps and ailerons because we decided that split flaps would create a complexity and actually not add that much value to the airframe. So we decided to go with full span, just like the small one. You've got the same flap configuration as the small one. Um, you've got the regular tail controls as you normally did. But the one thing that we've added here is leading edge flaps. Uh, leading edge flaps are a control surface on the front side of the wing uh, that allow us to do some pretty cool things. First off, what we've done is on this plane have it mixed pretty much all the time with the ailerons. Leading edge flaps mixed to the ailerons gives you a much greater roll control, especially at slow speeds and really kind of picks up the roll rate and keeps it consistent throughout the different angles, high angle, mid angle, and low angle. So it helps your rifle rollers as well as it helps your Harrier rollers. Additionally, some of the things you can do with leading edge slats or flaps in this case is to mix them onto a three position switch on the right side uh, versus the left side so you can control them independently like we do with the flaps. So the flaps have a left three position switch up, center, down, and the right has a three position switch for the leading edge flaps, up, center, down. So this allows you to do a couple things. If you want to play around with flaps down, flats down to give you a high camber airfoil with lots of lift, you can. Really this thing has so much power that you're not really concerned about lift. But another way you can use it is as a control surface. So if you want to take off in a very short distance, you can use your flaps down and your leading edge flaps up. This will get the nose of the airplane off the ground so you can point that motor up and climb away very, very quickly. Uh, another place that it comes in handy is just as a uh, wing surface eliminator, if you will. Uh, if you flew the small beaver, you remember that putting the flaps in the up position uh, and flying an upright Harrier or the down position and flying an inverted Harrier created a very high alpha stable Harrier. Well, one of the things you can do now is put the leading edge flaps in the same direction and now you've created an even higher alpha, more stable Harrier uh, that looks pretty cool in the air. And you can do it inverted uh, with the flaps down and the leading edge flaps down as well. Uh, you can also just use it as a drag device. I don't know if you ever tried doing a knife edge with the small one and putting the flaps down. It had a really solid locked in knife edge. Primarily because that drag requires you to have a higher power setting, which creates more airflow going over the tail surface, uh, and that gives you more control. So you can do the same thing with the leading edge flaps. Uh, they basically just give us more drag, so we can use a higher power setting uh, and get more control over the tail. Uh, if you remember doing uh, the, the parachutes where the airplane basically falls out of the sky with the flaps up on the small beaver, well now you have even less wing area getting in the way and it'll do a vertical descent like a helicopter basically straight down to the ground with a little goose of throttle to uh, smooth it out at the end. So they are very uh, useful pieces. They're not scary so don't be afraid of losing control of the airplane. Uh, even with the, the slats pointing in any direction you can still fly the airplane uh, however you want. Um, but just go experiment with them and see the things that they can do for you. And hopefully uh, over the course of this week and weekend, I can put a video together for you that will show you a little bit more about uh, what they do. Talk to you all soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye.